Hello, is this thing on? Hi, my name's Chris Betcher. I'm a teacher and I work with interactive whiteboards and I'm here to challenge you in the whiteboard challenge. And my challenge to you is to work with containers. Now I'm using Active Studio here on a Promethean board, but you can probably try it on any brand of board. I'm not totally sure how it would translate into things like Smart Notebook or uh, Easy Teach, but I'm sure there must be something similar. So here's my challenge to you, is to work with this thing called containers. So let me show you what they do. A container is a shape that can contain another shape, and it can behave a certain way when it contains that shape. So for example, I have some pictures here. Some of the pictures are cubist paintings, and some are impressionist paintings. And the task that I would give the students is to come up to the board and drag these objects and put them in the correct container. So this one is an impressionist painting, it belongs here. And I can click in and I can drag that object into the correct container. What containers do that's really clever is they can reject things that don't belong. So for example, this is a cubist container and this is an impressionist artwork. If I drag the impressionist artwork into the cubist container, it jumps back to where it came from and says, I don't belong there. So it's a nice way for students to have sort of a self-correction thing going on where they put the correct thing in the correct container and it's allowed. So I can take the cubist painting and put it in there, that's fine. This, this cubist painting can go there, this impressionist painting can go there. But if I take this cubist painting and try and put it in impressionism, it jumps back. That's what containers do. That's Okay, so another example here, I've got two, uh, two containers, this time they're just a shape um, of an oval. I've got some words over here, some of the words are nouns, some of the words are verbs. I've marked this container with the word noun and this container with the word verb. The student's job obviously is to take the correct words and drag them into the correct containers. So dog, for example, is a noun, so it belongs in the noun container. Jump is a verb, and so it belongs in the verb container. But just like our paintings before, if I take a noun like television and try and put it into the verbs, it jumps back. It's not allowed to be in this container. So that's how that works. And television would go in there. Dive is a verb, it would go in there. Apple is a noun, so it would live here. Swim is there. If I make a mistake and say fish is a verb, then it jumps back and says, uh-uh, you can't do that. So that's the idea of containers. And the last thing I just want to challenge you with, with, with containers is you can also do things like you can send off other triggers. So not only can the object go in the correct container, but you can get it to trigger a certain action. In this example here, um, I've got the word reptile, but when I drag it onto the correct shape, and in this case the target is actually an image, and when I drag that on there like that, reptile. You see, there's the word reptile which is embedded into that object and it gets triggered when the thing contains the correct object. So bird, if I drag it onto the bird, bird. You hear it says the word insect. Insect says the word insect and so on. And you can see I'm actually triggering sound events when the container is it, it becomes true. When the correct object goes into the correct container, it triggers a sound. So that is the way containers work in Active Studio 3. My challenge to you is to go and do something that uses this kind of technique so that your students can have almost like a self-correcting flip chart that they can work with, which then frees you up to go and do other things while groups of students work on the board. So there's my challenge to you, containers.